you know what? I landed yesterday morning, switched my phone on after having had it off for two weeks and it just blew up. Why? Because the Deputy Prime Minister and Justice Secretary Dominic Raab has resigned after two bullying allegations out of eight made against him were upheld by an independent investigation. Mr Rab's resignation letter, if you had the misfortune of having to read it, amounted to, in my opinion, little more than a bunch of words dripping with contempt for his victims, dripping with contempt for the independent process by which he was found guilty, and dripping with contempt for the person who conducted that inquiry the barrister Adam Tolley KC. What Mr Rabb wants the media to do today and last night is to debate whether or not his actions amounted to bullying. Let me be clear. I'm back in the chair, baby. Me and my team are not playing that game. Dominic Rabb's actions were that of a bully. We know He was a bully because the independent investigation that he requested concluded that he is. Upholding two of eight complaints, Adam Tolley QC concluded Rab had engaged in, quote, an abuse of power as Foreign Secretary by, quote, undermining or humiliating a senior official. So my question to you this hour... Is there any way to save the sinking ship of our standards in public life? 0345 6060 973. The reason this is so important, and the reason I'm not going to debate whether or not he was a bully, he was a bully, is because what we saw yesterday was so deeply egregious to the democracy in this country, that I want us all to be crystal clear about what game Dominic Raab is playing with you. What we are seeing through Dominic Raab's actions is a strategic, deliberate attempt to undermine the people, the processes and the rules by which standards in public life have been established and until relatively recently, upheld in Britain. I'm going to explain exactly how Rab has gone about it, because it's worth taking some time to understand why and how the Deputy Prime Minister of this country is playing us. After the former Deputy PM released his resignation letter, he spent the rest of yesterday using the Trumpian strategy of deny, divert, attack, and finally casting himself as the victim. A victim of bullying civil servants. He implied that if he had been bullying, which of course he wasn't, he was doing it on your behalf. You heard me right, folks. Your behalf. Let me tell you something. If we let this go on, if we don't analyse it and we don't think carefully about how we're being manipulated, it will happen time and time and time again. So today, I'm going to hand you the tools to ensure that as Rab continues this campaign, when the next one who resigns does it and the one after that, You're able to just call it out. Dominic Rabb did an interview on the BBC last night. First, he denied that he'd bullied anyone. Almost all of the complaints against me were dismissed. And what this doesn't give you, it's a handful of very senior officials. None of the uh, uh, junior complaints were upheld. Um, And I got on and dealt with hundreds of civil servants, thousands of other people in prison service and the court service. So, stage one, you heard it, deny. He then moved on to stage two of the Trumpian playbook, divert. Divert attention away from his egregious behaviour and then go on the attack. And what you've got is the risk here of a very small uh, minority of very activist uh, civil servants 
with a passive aggressive culture of the civil service who don't like some of the reforms, whether it's Brexit, whether it's parole reform, whether it's human rights reform, effectively trying to block government. That's not on. That's not democratic. That's not on. That's not democratic, he says. Can you see what he's doing there? Can you see it? He's casting himself as your saviour. If he was hard, if he was intimidating, if he bullied, it was for you. That's his strategy. So, he is denied, he's diverted, he's attacked. So there's Rab saying they're a small, dangerous, aggressive group of civil servants blocking the will of the people. Where have you heard that before? This is where. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Alex, let's change course. That rab divert clip. Play it again. And what you've got is the risk here of a very small uh, minority of very activist uh, civil servants with a passive aggressive culture of the civil service who don't like some of the reforms, whether it's Brexit, whether it's parole reform, whether it's human rights reform, effectively trying to block government. That's not on. That's not democratic. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. Did you hear it? That's not me, that's them. This is the Trump playbook, and it's now infected British politics. The only difference is not the substance here, it's the tone. Trump, standing up all alpha male, pointing and shouting and turning red. Dominic Raab, alpha male, sitting down, politely, suited and booted, whispering. Whispering Dominic Raab. Here's Whispering Dom doubling down on how he's the victim. And if he bullied staff, which he didn't, it was for your benefit because democracy is what's at stake. Look, uh, I'm sure I've made mistakes over four and a half years, but the question was whether any of this amounted to bullying. And I strongly believe if the threshold for bullying is so lowered that uh, uh, picking people up on bad work, uh, straightening out a negotiation where breach of a cabinet set mandate has been taken place, changing teams so we get the very best out of negotiations, so we deliver on victims' parole, uh, human rights reform. If we can't do those things, then ultimately it will be the public that pay the price. You're right, whispering Dom. The public are paying the price. And I'll tell you how we are paying it. We are paying it by just tacitly silently, without us being fully conscious of it, sleepwalking our way into a place here in the UK where Trumpian style politics becomes the norm. But we don't do it like the Americans. We don't do it shiny and shouty with flags. We don't do it by storming the Capitol or getting people to march down Whitehall. No, our politicians do it with shiny shoes and a sharp suit, sitting there on BBC News, not properly challenged, whispering the message. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. And if I did, it was their fault. It was the process. It was the rules. It was them. They made me do it. They made me. They made me intimidate. They made me double down on them make them feel as though they can't do their jobs. They made me do it. That's what he's doing. Don't be in any doubt. This programme on LBC is not falling for it. We're not going to debate for the next hour whether or not he was or wasn't a bully. Dominic ba Raab has been found to have been a bully on two occasions. That's too, too many. He's fallen on the sword that he said he would fall on. And I'm not going to sit here and debate whether or not that was right. He did it. Own it. What I am going to talk to you about is how much damage this is doing. Because we need to wake up and smell the coffee, folks. 
We've got to stop it and we've got to stop it now. So my question to you is, how do we stop the sinking ship of standards in public life? How do we plug those goddamn holes that have now opened up? Because this is a sinking ship here. And I tell you what, being away for two weeks, landing, switching on my phone and seeing this, it absolutely, I'm aghast.